Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is another live swatch and review video, this time for Salon Perfect's semi-new Halloween collection. So these top four polishes are all limited edition brand new polishes to the Salon Perfect line. You can pick them up at Walmart now. They are limited edition. It's called the Wicked Halloween Collection. I'm obsessed with these glitters here and then I'm excited to try out this glow in the dark nail polish so we'll definitely check that out and then these four down here are these well these three are the neon pop colors I actually already have these two and then this one is a new to me but you can get all four of these all year round so pick them up at Walmart but it's just part of their like Halloween promotional collection because these are really cool Halloween colors. So I'm really excited to swatch these for you. And then what I really want to do is do a couple of nail art tutorials for Halloween using these nail polishes. So let me know what kind of designs you'd like to see and I can get that going. So I am going to start swatching this collection. I'm going to start with these four down here and again these four can be picked up all year round at any Walmart store. So yeah, <laughs> let's get right into it. So here is the first polish. This one is called Mood Ring and it's like that perfect Halloween purple color. I guess when I think of Halloween colors I think of like orange and green and purple and black and this is the exact purple I think of. Just that kind of like I don't know how to describe it, kind of a grapey, bright grape purple, but it just reminds me so much of Halloween. This one has a great formula so far. It's not streaky at all, it's just, it's really nice, so this one will definitely be opaque on two coats. I always get nervous swatching the neon pop colors because a lot of times in my experience of neon polishes, they can oftentimes be sheer and streaky and need a ton of coats to even become bright and opaque. But so far from what I've experienced with Salon Perfect's neon colors, they're all excellent and I'm finding that as well with this new purple polish. Well, new to me. And again, this one's called Mood Ring, so that's one coat. So this one dried super fast, which is awesome. I love when polishes dry fast. So here is two coats of Mood Ring and yeah this one is completely opaque in two coats and I just love how bright this color is for two coats and it's got an excellent formula and it dries super fast so highly recommend so far. Really like it. So I'm trying to think of Halloween designs that I can do. It's actually been a while since I've actually done nail art. So you guys will definitely have to give me some ideas. I'm going to take these polishes back to school with me and then I'm going to try to do some tutorials like on my phone at college and then see how that goes. But yeah, let me know Halloween designs you want to see. So there's two coats of Mood Ring. So this polish is called But First Brunch and I already had this polish and I've actually used it in a sum one of my summer nail art tutorials this summer, I did a orangey sunset gradient with some black stamping on top. So I already know I really like this polish and I just never really thought of using it for Halloween. And I'm glad it came in this collection because now I'm definitely going to be using it for Halloween. But again, I need nail art ideas and suggestions. So if you guys have any... Just type them down there in the comments. So there is one coat of But First Brunch. So here is two coats of But First Brunch and this one does kind of dry down to a textured glitter finish. So if you don't like that textured finish, obviously apply one or two coats of a top coat to smooth it down. So again, perfectly opaque on two coats and I mean just look at how bright and neon this polish is without a white base coat or you know any trouble. I mean that's two coats and it's really bright and really neon which is incredible so excellent formula 
And yeah, I just am really glad that they threw this one in their Halloween collection because I'm excited to use this for Halloween stuff. So this one is called Tropical... I think it's Highway or Hideaway. Hold on, sorry, I thought I remembered the name. Tropical Hideaway. <laughs> and this is another one that I've actually already owned and just always thought of it as like a summer neon color, didn't really think about it for Halloween. But again, like when I think about that like kind of toxic green color for Halloween, this is what I think of. So I really do love this color for Halloween. And again, for being a neon, look at how amazing this formula is without having any white underneath. It's a tad bit streaky, but two coats definitely covers it up as you will see when I do my second coat. But just look how bright and neon this color is without any fuss, really. So, yeah. So here is two coats of Tropical Hideaway. And like I said, I knew it would be completely opaque on two coats and I literally cannot get over how bright and neon this is just being two coats without white underneath or you know any fuss like I just it's just impressive really impressive in my opinion I've swatched a lot of nail polish in my day and neons never act like this so I'm super impressed with this color and I really want to use it for Halloween nail art so again, for like the fifth time, I'm asking you for suggestions because I really need help. I've lost like all inspiration for nail art, so I need your help. But there is two coats of Tropical Hideaway. Polish is a just plain old, holy crap. <laughs> Wait, hold on. That was like literally one swipe of polish and it's that opaque? Wait, what? Whoa. Okay, sorry, I got really distracted. This polish is called Oil Slick and it's just a regular cream black polish, but are you kidding me right now? You know how Christine, Simply Nail Logical, always complains about like not being able to find a really amazing one coat black nail polish? Girl, I found it for you. Holy crap. That's literally one thin coat of nail polish and it's that opaque. That is literally insane. I was, <laughs> sorry, that I was not expecting that at all. See, that's why I like doing these live voiceovers so you can get like my real first impression, first opinion, cause holy crap. Wow. <laughs> I'm not even gonna do a second coat. I am so impressed. With this polish that is insane you guys need to tell Christine about this polish because this is oil slick salon perfect that's one coat I'm yeah I'm just speechless that was really impressive this is my new favorite black polish ever so yeah <laughs> um, but what I was gonna say this is the last of the four already existing polishes now I'm gonna start swatching the for limited edition new polishes, but I just need a minute to appreciate this black polish. <laughs> That's crazy. Okay, so right now I really want to swatch the glow in the dark polish, and since I already have the amazing black nail polish on my nails, I want to try swatching the glow in the dark on top of the black and see if you can see it glow in the dark. Right now I'm going to try turning off my lights and see if we can see it glow in the dark. So let's see, I've got three lights going on here. So you can kind of see it. I apologize, there's also lights on in my room. Um, just give me one second, I'll turn those off too. There we go. Look at that glow. All right, so what I want to try to do is actually swatch it right now in the dark. I can't really see my nails, so this is probably gonna be a fail. But let's see if it really glows on the nail, which it's not really doing. <laughs> so, all right, I'm gonna turn my lights back on. Oh, that was bright. Okay, 
So I'm going to just adjust the camera. So I'm going to... I did the glow in the dark on top of my ring finger. I'm going to try it on my other nails. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to hold my nails up to the light. And then turn off the lights and see if it like charges the glowiness. And then see if you can see it glow on the nail. But it definitely was glowy in the bottle as you could see. That was really cool. I love glow in the dark things. So I really hope this works on the nails. Maybe I should do two coats. Let me see what one coat does first. So I will be right back. I'm gonna charge up my nails and then we'll see what it does. So <laughs> I think you can kind of see it glow a little bit, not really. So a little bit disappointing because of how glowy it is in the bottle. Um, I could try a second coat. I just don't think that it's really gonna help at all which is really sad because I was hoping that it would be really cool and glow in the dark but it's cool in the bottle so if you want to like show your friends something cool you can show how the nail polish glows in the dark but yeah I mean the bottle glows in the dark but the actual nail polish does not which is kind of disappointing but hey we tried right <laughs> all right so this is the one of the three new limited edition glitter polishes. I'm super excited about these. This one is a really pretty bluish purplish glitter polish. Now this one would be an excellent candidate for a sponging glitter thing if, <laughs> if you know what I'm talking about. So like when you put your glitter on a makeup sponge and then you dab it onto your nails to make it really opaque and dense packed but since I'm super lazy and I just kind of want to swatch the polishes and not sponge them I am just gonna try to do like two or three coats to really get the glitter opaque but definitely sponging will get this one very dense and glittery but I think this one's really pretty this one I don't think I said the name of it it's Hallow Queen instead of Halloween Hollow Queen I think that's funny I think it'd be really funny if it was like a hollow polish and it was like Halloween, but it's not. Oh well. <laughs> There's one coat of Halloween. So this one dried super fast, so I'm going to go ahead and throw on a second coat. This one's actually surprising me. It is more opaque with the glitter than I thought it would be. I am doing kind of a thicker second coat because it dried so fast, but that's not bad like that's that's pretty opaque so if you're lazy like me you don't need to sponge your polish which is good news I think glitter is always kind of a pain to take off though but I use 100% acetone and then I get it on my cotton ball and I just let it soak on my nail like I just hold the cotton ball like that on my nail for like 10 seconds and then all the glitter just kind of wipes off and then there is some like glittery residue and I just wash my hands to get it off. So that's how I remove glitter. But it's so fun to wear so it's it's worth the pain in the neck removal process of glitter. So I mean again if you did sponge it would look I think a lot better. But I don't think that looks half bad. There is two coats of Hollow Queen really like this glitter. This one does kind of dry down dull, so I always recommend applying top coat. I know a lot of people when they're in a rush they just throw nail polish on their nails without worrying about a base coat or top coat, but if you really want this one to look shiny and look its best, I do recommend at least one or two coats of top coat to make it look beautiful. This polish is called Too Cute to Spook, and this is a really pretty orangey glitter, very similar to the type of formula as the purple glitter. So again, it will probably surprise me on the second coat, but you will probably want to sponge it if you want it to look really dense and opaque. And what I really want to do with this polish is do a glitter gradient with this one over black. I think that would look really cool. So if you guys like a tutorial for that, I can show you, but I think I've done a lot of glitter gradient tutorials, so I might just post a picture on Instagram 
when I do it because oops because <laughs> I really want to do that so I think this one's so pretty perfect for Halloween and just fall in general it's kind of like a pumpkin spice glitter polish kind of looks like pumpkin spice I'm not into like the whole pumpkin spice latte thing I'm not a big fan of coffee but I do like pumpkin flavored things if you guys have ever had pumpkin pie ice cream I think it's from Perry's Oh, so good. If you like pumpkin pie, it tastes exactly like pumpkin pie. So, yeah, just a little side note. So there's one coat of Too Cute to Spook. So here's the second coat of Too Cute to Spook. And again, this one dries down kind of dull, so you will want at least one, possibly even two layers of top coat to make this one really shiny. And, yep, again, this one did kind of surprise me with the opacity of it. But definitely sponging it will help you a little bit. So also, I just started watching Scandal. And oh my god, I'm obsessed. And if you guys remember, was it last year or two years ago, OPI's fall collection was a Kerry Washington collection. And there was like a couple, of, like all of it was really like Washington DC themed and I didn't get all the references, but now that I'm watching Scandal, I get them all. And I kind of wish I would have started watching it sooner so I would have gotten the references when I did that swatch video a year or two years ago. But if you haven't seen Scandal, I highly recommend it. If you have seen it, please don't give me any spoilers because I'm in the middle of season two right now. So I haven't, seen it too much but I'm obsessed and I really love that show so if you guys are looking for like a good show to start binge watching I highly recommend Scandal so that was a really weird side note as well but again that one is too cute to spook and there is two coats of it so last but not least is Nine Lives this one is a black kind of translucent sheer black polish with I can't tell if it's silver or gold or if it's like silvery gold flecks of glitter really pretty I do really like this one excellent formula and I like how it has kind of that like black base so that it like will be really opaque on two coats and it's kind of a more wearable nail polish if that makes any sense so really like this one so there is one coat of nine lives so here is the second coat of nine lives <laughs> that was kind of thick um there we go this one is completely opaque in two coats and this is one of my new favorite nail polishes this is so pretty I'm trying to think of like how I can incorporate this polish into nail art because I want to but it's also really nice polish to wear on its own it's dark and mysterious really like it so there is two coats of nine lives and that was the last polish from the salon perfect wicked collection so as well as the nail polishes, Salon Perfect kindly sent me these nail sets that are also available at Walmart and are also limited edition for Halloween. I love this set. It's like a really cool textured foil red fake nail. And then this one is a cute cat stiletto shaped nail. And then I don't know if you guys can see, but the eyes are like iridescent glitter, which is super cool. Now these are not pre-glued. You do have to glue them and they do come with glue. So if you are interested in these, check them out at Walmart, they're available now. And I think I'm definitely gonna be wearing this set for Halloween because my nails are so short, I kind of do want something a little bit more vampy and long. So I'm gonna try these out because I really love the cat's eyes and I think they're super cool. And yeah, so that is it for my live swatch and review video for the Wicked Salon Perfect Halloween collection. Let me know what you guys think of this collection in the comments below. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. 
I post swatch videos and nail art videos and yeah, so I really hope you guys like this video and I will see you in my next one. Bye!